Good morning, guys. Tony Maritato, physical therapist, coming into the clinic this morning. So I wanted to answer a question that came up a couple of times about inflammation. And more specifically, what is inflammation? Why do we have inflammation? Inflammation essentially is a chemical process. It's our body's immune system trying to either fight a bacterial or viral invader, or it's trying to clean up the damage caused by tissue injury. So when you think of total knee replacement surgery, there's lots of trauma, lots of tissue damage, even the damage before the knee replacement surgery the osteoarthritis, the de degenerative changes, all of that, your body, your immune system has been trying to deal with, trying to fix, trying to heal. And it does that through chemical process. It sends um, cytokines, which are pro-inflammatory proteins down into the area. It creates swelling, redness, pain. Those are signs of inflammation, but actual inflammation is a chemical process, immune regulated. Now, to put an ice pack or a heat pack on a, an inflamed knee, that's not gonna change the chemical process. Ice does not reduce inflammation. Heat does not increase inflammation. The reality is inflammation is vital, it's necessary. We can't survive as humans without inflammation because we would be sick and injured and we wouldn't survive. We need the inflammation I'm not saying it's wrong to put ice on a swollen, painful knee, but what I'm saying is we as physical therapists want to be more aware that we shouldn't probably say the words, let's ice that knee to reduce inflammation or icing stops inflammation because it doesn't. Inflammation is a chemical process. Ice changes the temperature of your skin. It does little more than that. If it feels good, do it. If it helps you move more, do it. Movement will help facilitate fluid exchange. Move, movement will help reduce the signs and symptoms of inflammation. It'll reduce the swelling. It'll reduce the redness, the stiffness. We wanna do anything that ultimately supports our immune system and allows us to move a little more during the day.